Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another uh, ECM, well, DME uh, repair. This is a comeback. I repaired this computer a couple of weeks ago. Elaine Katende, I think he's from Texas. I have his, uh, yeah, so this is your computer. As you see, I have it now apart. And I'm just gonna show you from the distance so you can see the same markings and everything in there. So yes, um, he had it on the car, used it for like four days, and then is giving you the same. It was giving him the same problem, no viable reference, no communication. So I went on her, I went ahead and talked to him and said, okay, let's do a few tests on the car first, and I asked him to disconnect the um, accelerator pedal position or uh, accelerator pedal that has two fiber reference. So what you can do in the vehicle, if you have a problem like this, to eliminate the entire vehicle sensors, you will unplug the accelerator pedal and then pin three and five, you will have fiber reference, fiber reference one and two. And then you can check if the computer actually works or not. So you unplug the small connector and the middle connector and you leave the main first connector which is 60004 that will supply the computer with powers and grounds and everything and you will be able to communicate with the scanner so i'm going to turn it off we can see no more fiber reference in here i'm going to turn it back on and we see fiber reference now back immediately so yes elaine uh yep it was my problem my mistake uh one of the pins in the fiber regulator the solder was cracked. I resolder it again, make sure everything is nice and solid. Um, I mean, it can happen. And I told Elaine, this will be probably the first time that I see one of these components failing because these are original brand new components. This is not a Chinese or nothing. This is original Bosch voltage regulators. All right, so that is good. This is the B number of the car, TV36146. So I'm going to get out of here and re-scan it. So we can see the connector or the connection to the uh, actual scanner happening with no problems. And we can see 2008 Mini Cooper reading everything perfect. I also need to mention that I'm supplying 120 ohm resistors in between 6 and 14 on the DLC to supply the terminator resistor because this computer does not have that. All right, so I'm going to put the computer back together. He asked me if I can clone his computer to have a spare. I tell him to, yes, I can do that. But Elaine, um, it's not that simple to plug the car. I mean, if I clone this computer, uh, it will not be that simple to just plug and play because you will have to have a cast and a key in order for this to happen because the ISN, it will not match exactly the one you will have in the car. So you have to... Um, realign the cast in the computer every time you do that and that is um, uh, an advanced procedure that needs to be done so i'm going to call you and see if you still want to do that obviously if i clone the computer that will be an extra charge because uh, of obvious reasons uh, that has nothing to do with my repairs so let me contact you and see which way you want to go but yeah your computer will be 100 percent repair and back to you normal i have not had one fail me i'm sorry for this Yep, I'm a human, I can make mistakes, and I'm actually recording this, so I take the blame in this case. Not a bad component. There was a my problem when I sold her. I was very careful. I always push him, make sure that they were uh, solid, and that one was weak. All right, sorry for that, and um, again, I will be contacting you shortly for that. Again, guys, uh, just a short video and update for the customer, most likely or mostly for, but I also want to share that, you know, uh, when I make mistakes, I went ahead and or I go ahead and correct them. And if it's something that I need to uh, address, no charge to the customer at all. All right, guys, thank you so much for visiting the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.